hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial video i will address another physics problem on newton's second law of motion this problem involves a mass moving on an inclined plane when pulled by a force f this problem is common in a level physics so it's good for those in the schools of natural sciences and those doing Cambridge a levels so the question leads a block of mass m is put via pulley at constant velocity along a surface inclined at angle theta the coefficient of kinetic friction is mu k between block and the surface determine the pulling force f to determine the pulling force f we have to identify all the forces that are acting on the mass m first so we know that since this object has mass then they should be weight and weight always acts downwards so there is weight or force of gravity in that direction acting on the mass then there is also a contact force in that direction called the normal reaction force the normal reaction force reacts perpendicular to the surface okay. the normal force is equal in magnitude as the component of gravity in that direction if we extend that line there so uh, this angle here is the same angle which is a now this force f is being opposed by another component of mg pointing in that direction the other component of mg is in this direction here now since the surface is not frictionless why do we say so because we've been told that the coefficient of kinetic friction meaning when the body is moving there is kinetic friction force and kinetic friction always opposes the motion the motion now the object is moving up the incline then the friction force should be pointing in the opposite direction to the motion so if the object is up the incline then friction force is in that direction now getting back to mg mg has two components mg has two components this component here if we bring it here We we'll have a light angled triangle there. So uh, this component here is the opposite. It is opposite to the angle. Then this is mg sine theta. The opposite side is defined by the sine ratio. So that is mg sine theta. Then the other one will be mg cos theta. The other one will be mg cos theta. So this other component here will be mg this one here is mg cos theta. This is mg Theta. Okay. And now this mg cos theta is the same as fn because the two forces are equal so even fm fn is mg cos theta okay we also know that friction force is related to the normal reaction force by this formula 
the coefficient of friction times the normal friction force gives us the friction force. And this other force EF is the tension in this rope there. It is the same tension even there. So this is F. So these are the forces that are acting on the mass M. So these are the forces acting on the mass M. Now, we've been told that this mass is moving at constant speed or constant velocity. If the object is moving at constant velocity, then its acceleration is zero or the resultant force is zero. So by Newton, second law of motion, which is F is equal to MA. Okay. So this is the net force. The net force is equal to MA. If we substitute for the net force, we have F, and in this case, F is positive because the motion of this mass A is in the direction of F. Now, this F is being opposed by these other two forces. So, the other two forces will be negative. That is, friction force is opposing F mg sin theta is also opposing f so mg sin theta is also opposing f is equal to ma now ma is the resultant force and we say the resultant force is zero because the object is moving at constant velocity now making f the subject there so physics ends there the rest is mathematics. So making F the subject there, this sign will change when F, F and MG sign beta goes to the other side. So this becomes positive F, F plus MG sine theta plus MG sine theta. Now, substituting for ff substituting for ff which is friction force we have f is equals to mu k i'm doing this step by step so we have mu k times fn plus mg sine theta also substituting for fn we know that fn is mg cos theta so we have f is equals to mu k fn is mg cos theta mg cos theta plus mg sin theta so that's our solution there that's our solution since we don't have values to substitute for mu k m and theta then the question ends there so this here is our solution that's all i have for you today please invite others to subscribe to my channel also and also leave me a comment if you have any and like the video see you next time Thank you.